Hi, it's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides and we're up here at James Gibbons Yard and we've just bumped into Freddie Tulitsky so we thought we'd have a chat with Freddie a bit about himself and also the courses he rides around the country. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the all-weather courses and then we'll go on to a couple of turf courses as well. All right, Freddie, how are you doing? Very well, thanks for having me. No, no problem at all. Uh, so let's talk a bit about your history, Freddie. What brought you into racing? Uh, I was born into it. My father was a multiple champion jockey in Germany. All right. So yeah. from a young age I knew what the game was all about and how hard it can be and lifestyle wise and uh, yeah um, you know from a young age I knew I was going to be a jockey so um, I always worked towards it. Yeah yeah and where did you uh, start your training? Started training in Ireland with mm -hmm. Dermot Weld. I right, spent yeah. three years there uh, served a couple of years of my apprenticeship with him uh, but I also done my school at the same time mm -hmm. and um, as you know um, German is my my first language yeah, English yeah. was my second then okay, yeah. and I finished off my school in Ireland at St. Patrick's Community College all right yeah. and I then went on to uh, Mr. Bulger yeah. and spent a further three years with him yeah and then you, did you come over to this country after that then I did indeed yes yeah, yeah. and uh, ever since I joined the UK things have just developed nicely for me I, I turned um, champion apprentice in 2009 right so um, I was delighted with that. And were you with uh, Richard Farhi at the time? I was indeed, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he provided me with a lot of winners mm -hmm. and uh, I was riding for a lot of trainers and rode a 71 winners that year so it, oh, it was wow. a great, Good great amount of winners. And you've only ever ridden the flat have you or have you done some jumps racing in your time? No, just on the flat. Just on the flat. And you obviously now you ride for a, a variety of trainers. Who are the, some of the trainers you ride for now? Yeah, um, I've got good tank contacts up north and down south mm -hmm. and uh, I do a lot of traveling um, you know I ride all over the country mm -hmm. uh, I've been kept very busy my agent Richard Hale does a great job for me yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm delighted to, with the way things are going for me this year yeah yeah and who are the main trainers that you'd ride for at the moment then uh, I ride a lot for John Jenkins and yeah. um, get a few rides of Clive Britton and that mm -hmm. and from there on you know I've got a variety of trainers I ride for so yeah. so you I'm don't delighted. you don't mind being freelance then and riding for a few people no, it's a, for me it's a good position to be in at the moment. Mm. Um, I'm available to everyone that wants me and obviously to the trainers that provide me with the most winners, you know. Brilliant. Okay, Freddie, if we can talk a little bit about Kempton then. Uh, obviously the southern tracks, um, there's Kempton and Lingfield down there as the all-weather. Uh, big difference with Kempton is obviously it's right-handed. Uh, do you need a different type of horse, the, a horse that leads with a certain leg? Do they seem to favour Kempton? Definitely, yeah. Horses, mm. um, not, not every horse is, is you know, adaptable to go right-handed. Mm. Some of them like, uh, prefer to go left-handed, mm -hmm. others prefer to go right-handed. Um, but it's a, I think it's a fair enough track if, mm. if you ride there um, over a trip. Mm. Um, the five furlongs there and the mile and a quarter is ridden on, on the inner circle. Mm. So mm. It's, it's a very tight track there. And how far is the inner circle? Is that a a lot smaller, isn't it? It is. It's smaller than the outer ring, yeah. Mm. So um, a low draw is, is in need. You know, it's, mm. it's a major advantage there. And you were saying because the five furlong, you're literally out of the stall, straight into that straight bend. Straight into the bend. So if you're drawing high, then it's game over, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So and obviously you've got a lot shorter straight as well, so there's no time to recover, I suppose. No time to recover, so it's jump and go and get mm. your posse and then kick on right after the bend. Right, right, yeah, definitely. And so the outer ring um, is slightly... Uh, easier on you because you've got that long straight to recover I suppose if you're not in position. Yes you have the longer straight but you also have a dog leg um, oh, which right. um, provides you with a few gaps towards the end of the race towards the last furlong and a half and mm -hmm. um, it's where horses tend to fan out mm -hmm. as you can when you watch racing from Kempton um, towards the last furlong and a half when the, when the rail gives away mm -hmm. that's when the horses start spreading do they naturally do that? It's not the jockeys doing that, it's just naturally the horses because they've got a bit more space. Well, I wouldn't say that. I, th I think it's the jockeys looking for a bit of room, <laughs> you know, room, to, yeah. to manoeuvre and, and, and get a run, you know. But it tends but to um, mean you're not getting as much trouble in running, you can get a gap. Exactly. Gap. If, if you tend to miss the break to start, mm -hmm. then um, you, can, you can still ride a race around there and, and it gives you a chance to make up some ground coming, out, coming in for home and, and coming up to that so line. So is that where the track joins the inner track then, where the exactly. outer track joins it? That's where it breaks away and you've that's got that That's where rail. it breaks away and that's where you can kick on and, mm. and usually find some room. Yeah, and you do see ho horses swallowed up quite a lot, so you were saying it's not really a front runner's track around there. Again, you know, it's, it's um, jockeys that go over to the States, you know, and, and, and know their, their times, really. Mm -hmm. it, it suits those type of jockeys, aggressive jockeys that 
go and jump the gates and, mm -hmm. and lead and, and they can bite your time in front. But uh, usually horses don't really win from the front. Uh, it's usually horses that are being ridden handily. Mm -hmm. But also, you, you do tend to get some funny results sometimes and they co come completely from off the pace. Right off the bat, yeah, yeah, you see that quite regularly, don't you? Especially on that long straight, I think you do see, you know, horses come right from off the pace sometimes, you know, and it's uh, it makes good racing, I think, there. And the surface at uh, Kempton, uh, obviously poly track, the same as uh, Lingfield and Wolverhampton, and that was replaced last year, was it? Yeah, it was replaced last year last year and um, I think they put about t three meters or so of, of new surface onto it and mm. um, so the whole track didn't get a, a resurface it was just a bit of it and mm. that needed um, a certain amount of time to settle in to be honest in, so yeah. at the start it was riding slower than mm. obviously just usual. that section of track yeah. exactly mm. and uh, now that it's you know tightened up a bit over the winter and it's been rolled you know on hundreds of occasions it's um, it rides much better you know does it and uh, do you think it is a fast surface what's the pace of races round around Kempton like I do think it's it's a fast track especially over the uh, sprint distances and it's um, very flat as well isn't it it's very flat you know and uh, it, it's all about pace as well mm. and we talked about the types of horses that do well at the other tracks again is it more of a galloping type or more of a, a nippier type there? To be honest, I think uh, any sort of a horse is, is suited by Kempton mm -hmm. because it, it's Are they flat. quite gentle bends then? Are they quite easy turns? or The outer is, the mm. inside isn't Can obviously, tight, yeah. you know. Um, so I won on a horse and around there which is a big galloping horse and he mm. handled it very well. So for me, you know, any, any sort of a horse can, can go around can there. Can go well at Kempton.